Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to another edition of the Price is Right Showcase Beatdown right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. Well, we have so much fun with this game. I'm glad we're doing it again today. So let us get right into it and meet our contestants for today's Showcase Beatdown. We've got Jose, Travis, Daviana, and Aaron, some of our regulars here. Welcome back, fellas. Hello, and we have two returning players back on the channel for first time. First off, we've got Kenny back with us. Welcome back, Kenny. Let's go. And a longtime friend who was with us when we first got started here at MVG Productions. <laughs> Things have gotten better. He's able to uh, be back with us. Welcome back, my buddy Neil. Neil, welcome back. Thanks, Brandon. Great to be back and up and running again. Can't wait to participate in more games on your channel here. Yes, we have missed you. I'm glad things are going well for you. I'm glad to have you back here. And we're playing one. We're playing a variant of one of your favorite game shows. So the price is right. What a what a good way to come back with, right? Absolutely perfect. Well, then let's get right into the Showcase Beatdown here. For those of you who've never seen the Showcase Beatdown, let me explain how this game works. Um, you're going to be shown a showcase of wonderful prizes that you're going to be bidding on. You're going to send me a PM of what you think the actual retail price of the showcase is without going over. Uh, whoever is closest to the actual retail price will score themselves a point. First to five points in the game wins. However... There's a chance to earn bonus points in this game. You do that by bidding very well. If you're within $250 of the actual retail price of your showcase, that's a double showcase win. You're going to score yourself two points. If you are within $50 of the actual retail price, that is a triple showcase winner. You're going to earn yourself three points. If you buy somehow, by some miracle of God, or whatever sacrifice that you made to the deity of your choice, manage to hit the My price character. right on the nose. First off, I'm going to think you're cheating, but I know you're not because it's impossible to do in this game. But that is an exact, uh, an exact bid in this game will get you four points. However, I do caution you about bidding so close because if you're within $250 over the actual retail price, that is what we call a DSW, or sorry, a WSD, I should say, a weapon of self-destruction that is going to cost you a point. So you don't want to do that for sure. The first player to five points wins the game, and we'll pick up the last showcase that they ha had for prizes, okay? So any other questions? Mm. No, sir. No, sir. All right, well, then fantastic. Good luck to everyone. Let us ring the bell and let us get right into this beatdown. That is extremely loud. I apologize to everyone right now. <laughs> now that you now to make now to make sure that you're all paying attention and understand what's going on, here comes your first showcase. I normally have Jason read these, but he's not here with us, so I gotta do my own dirty work on this one. Our first showcase features an HP 35S scientific calculator, a Panasonic DVD CD shelf system, a Canopy lounger, a Kenmore Elite gas range, a Sony 32-inch stereo TV, and a Gladstron DX235. Look at that! A oh, boat way. off the bat. <laughs> what we love to see here on the show. All right, go ahead and make your bids, guys. All right. Ugh. Oh, right out of the gate. I know, right? Ugh. Of course. Would you expect anything else less at this point, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah. I, expected no I expected nothing less. Exactly. Uh. Alright, and the bids are coming in. Yeah, so absolutely. while the game is going on, we shall have we shall have discussions about random things and random topics at any given time. So we shall see what what kind of chaos comes out of today's game here. Because it's always entertaining to see what happens here. And a couple of y'all are actually really close to one another already. 
Oh my god, this is a close race. So, so we, we, we could be talking about a game of dollars on this one. Because some of y'all are in the ballpark, Ooh. I feel. Let's call it dollars, dollars, dollars. Possibly. All right, let's turn that down just a little bit more because it's it still comes through kind of loud. There we go. That that should be. All right, bids are in. Let's find our first winner. It's fairly My close. Word. Actual retail price of our first showcase forty eight thousand three forty two, oh. and that's going to go to Travis. Dang. There we go. He did a metal thousand. Jose over by about three grand. You were in the ballpark, but unfortunately on the wrong side of it there, sir. Yep. All right, Travis gets the first point of the day, and we'll move on to our next showcase. This showcase this begins with a Sony armband radio, an Ashley Duperella sofa, a trip to Dublin, Ireland, a Timana Lars Ulrich snare drum, and a Chevy Cobalt sedan. We have a car, ladies and gentlemen. We go from a boat to a car. Only took two of them this time. All right, place your bids. Hmm. Again, more information, too, as you can see. The trip to Dublin is round-trip coach from Los Angeles to Dublin, Ireland for a six-night stay at Fat Fitzpatrick's Castle. That doesn't belong to Ryan Fitzpatrick by any chance. No. <laughs> Wrong Fitzpatrick, sir. No. We're not going to bring that Fitzpatrick tragic magic in here. Not on this case, sir. No. Stop it. I'm so sorry. Oh. I, I believe you only have one more word for him, but you'll express it multiple times. And that word is ow. Yes. Right. Uh, no, the, no, that that'll come later when he says something even more ridiculous than that, and then I'm be like, no. Oh. <laughs> but that that's then. That's not yet. And we got our last bid in here. All <laughs> right, the bids are in. Let's find ourselves a winner. And oh, actual oh, retail oh, price oh, on this one twenty two thousand four forty two. Oh, you are all oh, over. Oh, got it. Oh. Wow. Yeah. 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 Dang it. The tragic okay. six way over bid. You hate to see it. Oh, well. I know where I put it happens. No harm, no foul. <laughs> we'll just move on to our next showcase. Our next showcase begins with a Belgian waffle maker, a 24 bottle wine cabinet, a trip to Lisbon, Spain. Nice. For six nights. A Birdie Ball Air Target backyard golf game. A Sakar Riviera Spa. And an Ashley dining room group with uh, Michael C. Fina, Kate Spade, China dinnerware. Ooh. From my buddy James out there, we got a spare. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Huh. Could All be right. It's like, I can smell yeah. it as it's not cheap, but it's somewhere. Like, it's more than cheap, to say. Eventually, like I said, one of these days, I'd love to see. I'd love to have a version of this where we could do more than six. But hey, I'm not mad at it because this is, this is still a lot of hey. fun. Indeed. Right, and the bids are starting to flow in now. Yeah, I will okay. go with this amount. Oh, I'm stuck on something, and it's like, uh... I, 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 I see the shout-out there, Neil. I see the shout-out on that one. You know what? Um, okay. And waiting on this one more. Oh... All right, there it is. All right, all the bids are in once again. Let's find another winner. All right, bids are in. Let's see. The actual retail price is nineteen thousand six fifty-seven, oh, and yes. that one goes to Jose. All right, Jose gets his first point. All right, Brandon, Let's you see. did enter my bid in wrong, but I still went over. Yeah, you still would have been over anyway. <laughs> I, I saw that afterward, and I was like, "Oops." 
But again, you were still over, so it didn't affect anything yeah. there. So that was no, my, that was my fault. I try to double check them, but let's say sometimes I do mess up. I am human after all. But nonetheless, it didn't, human. Af- it didn't affect the score. Jose got his first point, and we move on with our next showcase. Our next showcase is an Xbox 360 controller, a swivel bar console from FurnitureofAmerica.com, a Broad Hill dining room group with Rosenthal dinnerware, a trip to Palm Springs, a trip to St. Croix, and an Ultra Pin pinball machine. Hmm. Very nice. Uh, the trip to Palm Springs is a round trip limousine ride from Los Angeles to Palm Springs. You stay at the Myriad Monte Resort Spa spa for four nights in a luxury room and you get daily spa treatments included and the trip to St. Croix is a six night trip uh, via airplane from Los Angeles to St. Croix uh, the island of St. Croix for a six night stay at the DV resort there so keep that in mind with your bids as we start dropping them in here on another note with the Xbox 360 no console included I'm pretty sure that was, that was a given right there. Right. Yeah. Also, what's giving it uh, for this showcase, it feels like similar to what the last showcase, if it com- compared to the pr- uh, price. Excuse me. In some way. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wow. All right. I know I got your bid in right this time. <laughs> all right, and they're all in now. Let's find our winner. Oh, oh my god! god. Travis wow. playing. Travis and Aaron all playing spoilers here. Actually, retail price twenty one thousand six fifty eight. Oh. Kenny's over, oh. and Travis gets a point. Oh my god! Wow. Unreal, oh Travis. Another five hundred dollars on that, Travis, and you'd have been right in the sweet spot for sure. Well done. Right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was like twenty one thousand. I feel like somebody's going to bid that, and then. Yep, and that person was me. <laughs> wow, unreal. They took that opportunity to. Well, very good, very good bids overall. I mean, all y'all were pretty much right there. All right, Travis. If I had bid- if I had been 21 instead of 18, I would have been just over. Yeah, that that would have been heartbreak. I had, I had to see that for you, Neil. All right, um, Travis in the lead with two points. We move on to their next showcase. Our next showcase has a desk lamp and organizer, a set of Oneida King James flatware, a trip to Puente Cuerpos, Costa Rica for six nights at the Pandora Resort, a Kenny Elite microwave hood and range, and a Chrysler Town and and Country. <laughs> Not to be confused okay, with the Chrysler yeah. Town and Country. I know, it's a minor <laughs> typo. John didn't quite proofread all of these, but it's the Chrysler Town and Country, a, another brand new car. Make your bids now. Mm. Interesting how this, this showcase is going to be. Mm. Mm. Hmm, interesting. I, I sense a lot of major thought going into this one. It shouldn't be yeah. that, this one should not be that hard. It's not a boat. We're dealing with just a car here. I, that's I know that. Problem, though. That's not my problem. I, I, oh, think, I think everybody yeah. may be trying to overthink it. I don't know. Because the last time we have a car was in the 22 and, oh, and everybody was over. So, yeah. Whoa. Travis, go, yeah, on. I, I do. go ahead. Uh, I just going to say, yeah, I remember that Chevy Cobalt. I was like, I know I threw really money on it. Had I dropped it, but yeah. Yeah. And now we are just waiting on Davion. There he is. All right. The bids are all in. Let's find ourselves a winner. Travis <laughs> opting for the easy button bid. Actual retail price yes. $37,081. That one goes to Aaron, it's I believe. Aaron. Yep. yep. Well done. All right. Aaron's on the board with one. Jose with one. Travis, two. Everybody else waiting to score as we continue on for more.
Okay. Next showcase is a. I'm mad. We're starting off with a box of Golden Crisp cereal. <laughs> <laughs> oh Appa God. Apparently, we had one of the grocery wow. items left over from our previous taping. Nonetheless, you're going to start with a box of cereal. We get a three piece luggage set from Jan Sport, the Inspire M2 Home Gym, two Fisher Price Hot Wheels go karts, and a Saturn Ooh. Astra XR four door hatchback. A little car and a big oh car. God. This This showcase right here will really get your wheels rolling if the price is right. Mmm. <laughs> At least the cereal will, will provide fuel for us. Exactly. I, I, I will go ahead. I will go ahead and tell you right now, just to help y'all out, because I know you're having troubles with this one. The box of Golden Crisp cereal is priced at this game at three dollars and twenty five cents. So start there. <laughs> and just keep in mind, we okay. round we round our prices off to the nearest dollar. So. <laughs> mm. okay. So just, just keep, keep that in mind. Less than that, something is wrong. So yes, please do not bid less than three bucks. I I, I will cry for you. J just on the personal, <laughs> even if you're trying to underbid everybody, at least bid four. Like, come on. Exactly. All right. Here... Oh my goodness. <laughs> here come the bid. I had to think about this one for a second. Yeah, a slight head scratcher, but it's still not that bad. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, that's why I've been trying to play the game to make sure I re-familiarize myself with everything. And we're, we're slowly making progress, but we real head scratchers. And Travis going again with the easy button bits. I, pre I appreciate it, but I'm like, uh, that's only if you feel like you need to. Here come, here they come. It's a no. Oh yes. gosh. Again. Well then. Yeah. Yeah. Actual go. retail price on this one: twenty-one thousand fifty-nine dollars, oh, and everyone is gets over. It again. Oh boy. Hey. Ouch. Uh, overbid counter no now worries. at two. Sadly. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can improve upon it. Next showcase. Our next one begins with an O'Sullivan TV and VCR cabinet, a set of snowboarding equipment, a brand new bedroom group, a drum set, a brand new spare. Again. <laughs> and, and the same one. Well, I think. Yeah. Nope. No, not quite. This was a different one here. But uh, okay. it's still a spare nonetheless. And this showcase designed for something for every room of your house can be yours, but only if the price is right. Yeah, this is a every everything in your everything for your room. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. And by these oh. bids, well, I'll tell you in a second. I should have. I feel like I should have went a different route, but honestly, yeah, you know what? I'll just we'll see what happens. Is All right. First? I'll try this one. I, 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 I think I, I could smell this uh, showcase by far. All right. By the range of the bids that you guys are bringing in. Everyone says this one smells of El Cheapo. Is it El Cheapo? Has he struck? Let us find out as we reveal the bids. Jeez. <laughs> and the actual retail price of this showcase, $15,057. Oh. And that one goes to Jose. Yes. Ooh. Wow. Look at how close mine is. For $51. Yep. And that is fifty-seven dollars wow. over the El Cheapo limit. So it is. It was Damn. almost. It was almost El Cheapo, but not quite. Almost. For those of you at home who don't understand, El Cheapo is any showcase that shows up that's worth in total fifteen thousand or less. But nonetheless, Jose Travis with the lead with two, Aaron with one, everybody else still waiting to get on the board to go to our next showcase. Our next showcase features a a petite heart waffler. 
a set of Oneida, Oneida Frost stainless flatware from the Were You Paying Attention department. <laughs> the Funky Blast chair, a set of bullet golf equipment, and a Winnebago. Hello. Uh -oh. oh, boy. Here comes the expensive stuff, folks. Our first RV of the day. It took... I'm surprised the RV took the longest on this one for this one. I'm very surprised. All right. <laughs> the Winnebago view. It's here. Winnebago. <laughs> Yes, when, okay. when, when the win a bagel, you get to have a bagel with it. I'll, I'll even throw it. Yes, right. <laughs> yes. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. It's funny because my hometown is at the foot of Lake Winnebago. Wow. <laughs> well, there you yeah. go. Well, there you go. Then maybe that might lead you to the right price. I don't know. It, it could be helpful. <laughs> it's a possibility. We have a six-digit bid on this one. <laughs> oh, let me read no. it. No, no, don't do that. Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. Had to make sure that was the right one. Now I'm just waiting on you, Travis. And there's the bid. I might go over. Um, I have to, yeah. Mm, I think at least one of you is going to get it, but I'm not sure. Because I don't think anybody's... I don't think you've all overbid here. Let's see. Who's going to get it as we reveal the bids? Whoa, dang. There it is. After each of prices, this showcase, 98602 oh, That goes to Travis. Travis. Mm. Wow. And Travis with the good bid there brings him up to three points, has the lead. A double showcase win now. 250 or less will give him the victory. So it is crunch time already in this one. Let's see if the others can catch up as we go to our next showcase. This next showcase begins with an iPod roll holder, a brownie camera clock, a Broy Hill living room group with Yamaha portable electric keyboard, an Easy Go Freedom golf cart, a Ashley Hawthorne Bombay chest, and a Sun Tracker party barge. We're going on a boat. Another boat. Again. All right. But it's the Sun Tracker party right. barge. It's actually the most common boat that typically part uh, shows up here. This one is the Party Barge Twenty One Signature Series. So I know what that mm. one. I know about on average what the party barges typically cost. So I would actually have an advantage if I was playing this one. But I'm not. It's up to them to decide what the bid is, and I'm waiting for the bids now. Hmm. I, 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 will, I will go ahead and say this much for everyone. The party barge is the equivalent of a low to mid-range car. Okay. All right. They're usually not that expensive, but they're never... Over, I've rarely seen one over 20 grand. So if you really want me to put a number on it. I've never seen one over 20 grand, so... Take that for what you will and add it to the rest of the showcase. Party barge. All right, and all the bids are now in. Let us find ourselves a winner. Okay. All right, there they are. And now, let's see, the actual retail price, 27497 oh, wow. oh. Damien, the only one not over, he Damian. gets it. <laughs> Finally on the board. Finally. Way to not overbid there, Davion. Again, I told you, Thank you, they weren't that expensive. But nonetheless... Um, he's on the board. He's got his first point. Neil and Kenny, time for you to shine, guys. Time to get in it. Here we go with our next showcase. Hey, same cue. I love this one. The HP 35 scientific calculator from the Were You Paying Attention department. The Barefoot Five Dreams Piece Collection. The Flex Steel Dana Living Room Group. The Mead LXD 75 Telescope. 
and a performance Narcata 450 catamaran. We have another boat. Another boat. <laughs> another boat. Oh, oh boy. Mm. Yes. Every I can't. Again, those of you who are new to this particular series here should know that everyone here loves pricing boats, don't they? <laughs> It's so much fun. If you couldn't tell, that was extreme levels of sarcasm. So they hate <laughs> they hate pricing boats. No one Good likes word. pricing. They've always said no one Good. likes buying a boat and no one likes pricing one either. So in this case, it is definitely the case for our group here. But nonetheless, let's get those bids in. Mm. Let's try this. I'm just go with this. Jose opting for an easy button bid. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that easy button bid might be over. End of end of Oh gosh. Well, there's two types of easy button bids. One that there's a nice even amount to make it easy for me to type in. Or one that uses all the same digits. That's those right. are both easy. Yeah. But those are both easy. So anything uh, other than that, standard. Uh, so now I'm waiting for yours, Travis. I don't know. All right, there it is. And I see what you did there. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's find our winner. Illusion. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Going for 420. Yeah. Actual oh. retail price, 15994 oh, and the 420 already... gets it. Wow. Oh, <laughs> <Love yeah>. it. <laughs> yeah. oh, unreal. And Travis yeah. with the low end bid gets it to for that one. And puts him at game point. All right. If you guys are going to stop him, now's the time to do it. Let's see what happens as we go to our next showcase. This next showcase concludes a Disney Melly Time video. An Ashley Aquarian floor screen. A TiVo HD vi video recorder with Samsung 58-inch plasma TV. And a Broyhill dining room group with Rosenthal dinnerware from the Were You Paying Attention department. <laughs> and this showcase, which completely smells of El Cheapo, can be yours if the price is right. Who uses TiVo anymore? I don't know. I think they went out of business like a few years back or they got bought out by somebody else. I want to say they got bought out by Dish because they were the ones that had the TiVo option, I believe. So that mm. might have been the case there. I don't know. Mm. Let's see the, Let's see these bids. In. Davion, I'll say with a, a traditional. That's not an easy button bid. That is a lazy button bid. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. You'll find out here in mere seconds. Yeah. Um, I, like I, I can smell it, but I'm not sure if it is. Well, I'll put it this way. I feel like it's it's a good one to. I mean, if you're ever going to use it, now's the time for it to work. Because yeah. that's just how I feel about it. But, you know, my opinions don't necessarily mean that the pri it's going to match the price tag on it. But anyway, the, right. bi the bids are all in. Let's find our winner. Uh, <laughs> wow. Let's see. Actual retail price of this showcase, $12,025 oh, over. No. And Aaron, the only one with the out of bid, gets it. They think Travis Davion and I were threading the needle there with the WSB. Yeah. yeah, just outside of the $250 range over there for Travis and Neil and Jose. But Aaron gets it. He's all, got his second point. Again, a triple will win it for Aaron. We'll see what happens as we go on to the next showcase. Oh, we have a rice cooker and steamer. We have two bicycles. 
We have an Adams Family Pinball Machine. A lot of fun. Played that. A Top Mount Refrigerator Freezer. Two Yamaha off-road motorbikes. And a trip to Auckland, New Zealand. Mm. You, you guessed the fly round trip coach from Los Angeles to Auckland, New Zealand for a six-night stay at the Hotel de Vin. Well, I believe that's located uh, downtown Auckland there, I believe. So, a nice trip to the P South Pacific. Let's see who's going to take it as we place those bids. Mm. Now, Neil, I'm going to ask you, since um, you are probably the biggest prices Right fan of all of us here, I know that for the longest time, your favorite pricing game was still um, Make Your Move. But what's your, what's your second favorite after that? Uh, among the games that are not car games, uh, my second is favorite is Magic Number. Ah, okay. I personally was always a fan of Buy or Sell, and I enjoyed... Um, I enjoy Danger Price as well. Are probably my okay. two those, non those, those are, good games. are both both my two non favorite car yeah. games. Yeah, one of the shows that I went to back in 2014 um, ended up being the last time one of the games was ever played on the show. And which one was that? Wow. That was a uh, Step Up. Oh wow, that is oh. true. I have not seen Step Up in years, so I haven't re they probably retired that one. But hey. Glad we can still play it here on the channel as part of the big thing. We'll, we'll talk about that um, later on down the road. But right now, we have our bids in. Let's find ourselves a winner. I think everybody's fairly close on this oh. one. Actual retail oh. price, 21643 Aaron over. It. Aaron with a double showcase win. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, man. Dang, yeah. man. Nicely Aaron, done. Oh, Don't it move, Jose. And now it's a battle between Travis and Aaron for the next point. Neil, will Neil and Kenny make it to the plus side of things? Let's find out as the game continues. There's the next showcase. Oh. Our next showcase is a Sunbeam Digital Bass Scale, a PlayStation 3 game system. We'll upgrade that to a PlayStation 5 for y'all. Um, <laughs> an M... Fire M2 Home Gym, a Sony Ericsson Xperia Play uh, smartphone with one year, 450 minute unlimited data plan, a trip to Madrid, Spain for six nights at the Conde Duque, and the Sumhar Upright Piano. Oh. We'll get my PlayStation 2. This is interesting. I still have a PlayStation 2 that actually works. I literally, I literally keep it just so I can keep playing PlayStation One stuff because I know it works for a fact on there. I just need to get I actually I need to get a copy of um, Legend of Dragoon at some point. To start playing that again because I absolutely love that game. I gotta get little heard good things about that. All right, uh, let's get these bids in here. Oh God. Now I've got even more problems. Now, talk, speaking of, since we're talking about video games here, um, what's some of y'all favorite video games you enjoyed playing as you were growing up? Um, I'll start with oh you, Jose. God. I'll work our way across the stage here. Pac-Man. Yeah. Whoever, uh, whoever said that... Uh... <laughs> can't can't, can't go wrong know. with Pac-Man. Pac-Man's an cl uh, arcade classic for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure, yes. Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, I actually have a Wii that still works, and, uh, spend a lot of time playing, playing on Mario Kart Wii on it. Uh-huh. That's a good one. What about you, Travis? Uh, we like the SimCity series, playing the different games throughout them. Mm -hmm. Um, each upgrade brought a different, like, new element into the game. It was really fun. Nice. What about, what about you, Neil? Oh, Mario Kart has always been a favorite of mine, but my very first video game that I got, it was packaged with my Super Nintendo when I got it for Christmas, was Super Metroid. 
Oh yeah, ah, super nice. Wow. There's, there's a there's a throwback there. I'm I, I'm like Mario Kart myself. I personally was a fan of the Double Dash series from the yeah, GameCube. That was, that was a really fun one. That that to me is still like one of the best Mario Kart games they ever made. But that's just me. Because I think after they got to the like the Wii and they really started taking like to a whole different level, it lost some of its identity when you started having space. Um, you could fly hover carts and things of that nature. Mike, you're supposed to be racing go karts, which is the whole idea to begin with. But yeah, and that's me. Uh, we'll get to the others here in just a minute. Right now, we're going to quickly find our winners since all the bids are in. Dang. And this is going to be a close one here. Let's see. Oh. Actual retail price of this one: seventeen thousand four eighty-four. Oh, oh no! It, Travis. And Travis, Travis, no, Travis with a WSD. Oh, he's over. Oh. He is over. So, ouch. Oh, oh my! I thought he had it. Oh, no. technically, everyone at the over. price. Wow. Yeah. Damn. And Neil just got outside of the two hundred fifty dollars range because he oh. just was slightly over him. Fortunately, oh. Travis takes a step back to three. Now Aaron has the lead all to himself. We shall see if he can win it here as we go on to our next showcase. Oh, Travis, I thought you had it. Our next showcase is has the Michael Jackson This Is It DVD. Amazing one. Uh, May, a Maytag Jet Clean 2 dishwasher. A trip to Miami. A Whirlpool portable air conditioner. And a Honda S2000. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, the S2000, that is an automobile, comes with standard features, um, air conditioning, and a six-speed manual transmission. Uh-huh. All right. And this showcase of things that you'd find in um, um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City can be yours if the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Um, let's try it first. Uh, all right, while the others are getting their bids in here, I'll continue on here with uh, with you, Aaron, since you've got your bid in. What was one of your favorite games growing up as a kid? Uh, before I got into Street Fighter, was, I, I was playing mostly like Sonic. So, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Can't, can't go wrong with it. Which Sonic was your personal favorite? Wow. Uh... uh Actually, I would say Sonic and Knuckles. Actually, Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic Three. Yeah, Sonic Three. Yeah, not not bad. I was always a fan. Yeah. Of, I was always a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog too. That's that's me personally. Uh, yeah, I, it's a tie for me between those two. Like it's like Sonic Three yeah. and Knuckles is such a good series, and then Sonic Two is also such Absolutely. a great. Absolutely. All right, Kenny. What about you? What was that? What was one of your favorite games growing up? Favorite video game growing up? Uh huh. Ooh. Well, I already said Pac-Man, but I gotta be honest. I'm all about Frogger. Frogger was I enjoyed Frogger once I figured out what I had to do as a kid. But yeah, Frogger is actually somewhat of a mental puzzle you have to put yourself in. But that's a good one. I like that. And Davion, what about you? Yeah, um, for video games type, I know my first time playing video game was the Super Mario, especially the first one, the Super Mario Bros. Um, been, been trying some uh, Donkey Kong 2, and I think my first shooter game was Go, I think it was in the Goldfinger uh, series. Ah, 007 yeah. Gold, Goldeneye, yes. God. Yeah, the, 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 I think that was like the first, like that was the first game that you wanted to get four of your friends over to your house to try to multiplayer on, like before Halo, yeah. before Halo, before Call of Duty, before any of the modern uh, multiplayer games like shooters you had. You had GoldenEye because that was that was the, I think that's honestly where it started. Yeah. Also, what? Also, my first racing game was actually uh, Mario Kart uh, 64. 64 was a good one. I mean, that that gave the more of a modern style life to the Mario Kart series. Because prior to that, all you had was the original Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. So that that took a, a great idea and really like blew it up. But it yeah, classic, classic Mario Party's a fun multiplayer game too. True. All right, we got the bids in. 
let's jump into it. Let's get back to our game here. So we're looking for a winner. Aaron possibly with game point. Actual retail price. Forty-four thousand two eighty-four. Yeah. Travis with the double right. showcase. Damn. From going from hitting a WSB to now hitting a DSW to win it. Wow. All right, Travis. Be I honest. Be honest, Travis. You just wanted to hit What's five points exactly, didn't happened? you? That's why you <laughs> WSD'd on the last one. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, it was a good luck for you because that doesn't it gives you five points and that makes you today's big winner. Congratulations. That means you're Ooh. going home with this great showcase, the Michael Jackson This Is It DVD, the dishwasher. You're off to Miami. you got a brand new air conditioner just in time for summer, and you're going to be whipping around the street, streets of Oregon up there with your brand new car. Congratulations, sir. 44284 for Travis. He's our big winner today. And I want to give a big shout-out and thanks to everyone for playing. Jose, Neil, Davion, Kenny, Aaron, Travis. Appreciate it all y'all. And most importantly, appreciate you guys at home for watching another fun-filled edition of the Showcase Beatdown right here at MVG Productions. If you'd like to see more of this great series, check out the entire playlist of these beatdowns we've had here on the channel. And if you want to subscribe for more great game shows, past, present, or future, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until the beatdown commences once again, and we have more showcases to bid on, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, reminding you to help control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered, and help control the virus population. Wash your face, wear a mask, wash your hands, and wash your nasty ass. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.